cue the dark background. Hello guys, and welcome to day five of Halloween week. I've lost almost all my fingernails, but I am here to show you my most ambitious look that I've done for Halloween. So the story for this look starts out with me just looking online on Google Images to find something that wasn't that replicated. What you see a lot is the it clown, the gangster clown, and then like regular clowns, but I don't see as many jesters there. Even though Harley Quinn is more jester inspired, you don't see too many of the jesters. So I was really looking for something different. And then I found this image on Google and I was like, oh, this is cool. I wanna copy it, but I knew it was gonna be super tough because of the way it had the 3D effects on it. So for this look and for this video, I am going to show you how I created did the props, did the makeup, and did all the painting. So let's get started. One of the hardest parts about this look were the props. So I had to make a headpiece and I had to make the 3D appliques for the face. If I had thought this and given myself more time, which I never ever seemed to do, I would have actually gone out and bought cloth for the headpiece, but I didn't. So here's my last minute crafty way of creating the head piece. So I first started with some plastic wrap to keep my area clean so I wouldn't get anything on my carpet. Then I had an old Sephora box, which I have plenty of to use. I bought some floral wire from the dollar store and some spray paint. And of course my Maron paint palette, but you can use regular paint. I started by cutting the box, especially the little side pieces that fold. And after I cut the box little side piece, I had a piece that I had already cut out for the one of the gestures little things that hang down. So I just used that to cut out the second piece. And then I think I cut out six all together. And after I cut them out, I took some of the gray spray, uh, spray paint, when this is actually for hair, but it worked well for this as well. So I just spray painted each one of them gray, some of them both front and back. Then I used some lace and I applied the lace onto, the, onto three of the pieces using a hot glue gun. And then just very carefully patted that on there. Um, and then I painted the sides black. Side note, if you wanna do this safely, don't use glue guns as much as I did. I am I feel like I'm immune to the glue gun, so I'll touch it, but please be safe and don't copy me exactly. Next, I took some red paint and I painted three of the little pieces red. Then I took some floral wire and made sure that it matched the circumference of my head because this is where I was going to lay all the pieces on there. And um, yeah, it's actually pretty moldable, pretty easy to work with. Be careful on the ends, but not too bad. I used the hot glue gun and I just folded the pieces on there. I did realize that I didn't have enough pieces, so I really quickly took some and I painted them black. And then after I painted them black, I added a little bit of the gold spray that I had. So it had a little bit more of a pop. And after that, I took some of my loose highlighter and spread that all over. I don't suggest doing this because I feel like I messed up the look, but you know, I had already done it. So what can you do? And then I just measured it to my head. So I look like a weird Teletubby there. Now for the 3D pieces, start with some Vaseline on your hand so nothing gets all sticky. Then I'm gonna take some scar wax and take some out and I'm going to start rolling it in my hands. And be very careful when you're rolling it because it will break and I did have that happen a few times. After you've rolled it out, start pressing it in your hand so that you can lengthen it out. And then afterwards, you can put them down and make little S's. So this is the stuff that's going to go on the face. So I created this and I made like, I believe 10 of them. And then I spray painted each one just so it would get a little bit wet. And then I applied more of the loose highlighter all over the top because I really wanted to have that like gold shine. And then I just used my fingers to make sure that it stayed um, and it spread nicely and evenly. And then afterwards, I just let them cool and let them stay there so that they would harden a little bit. After my fingers and my pants were thoroughly destroyed, I decided to move on to create the collar. Now the collar was super easy and it's actually kind of unnecessary, but I, knew, I used a mesh 
that you like put underneath a dish rack, under dishes, and then I just folded it on one side. So I just took everything and I folded it all over to one side and then I used a hair tie to tie it together only on one side. And you'll see it's so important to do it on one side because once you look at the side, there you've got like a little bit of a collar shape or a broom shape. And then I'm gonna take some white tool that I had and I'm just going to take two different pieces and tie it on either end so it gets like that fluffy kind of editorial look, even though, you know, it's not really. And then that way you have your collar all created. Now I took the leftover floral wire, put it in half and then put it around the hair tie so I could put it on my neck. Be careful at the ends, but other than that, it was good. Onto the makeup. One, two, three, let's go. To start the makeup, I was going to have to block out the brows yet again. So I'm taking soap and I'm going to run soap all throughout my brows. First going in an upward direction and then going in a downward direction. Just making sure it's all over the brows. Then waiting about a minute or so and after that brushing them up. You're gonna feel a little bit of a tug which means they're gonna stick a little bit better. After I was done spooling them, I used my fingers to really, really flatten them against my head because that's always the most important part because you want them to disappear. And then I remembered that I used to use some lash glue and that would help even more. So then on top of it, I added lash glue to make sure that they were even more flattened. Again, waited about 30 seconds and then I started to push it up to make sure that everything was laying really, really flat. And then after that was done, I took some powder because now it's kind of a little bit sticky so you want it to be dry. Put some powder on there and then took some blush and um, this is a peach cream blush, very important to be cream, then applied it all over to get a little bit of color correcting and then some concealer to really, really get you into that alien look. Using a brush to blend out the edges. And then afterwards I'm going to take a powder and then just stamp it into the eyebrow so it's completely gone. Now that you're a full alien, it's time to start your base. So I'm going to start with using some liquid foundation and applying it all over my face. Um, I only need it for certain parts, but I just thought it would be easier to get it all over the face. It could be a scary experience. When you see yourself looking at yourself looking like this, it's scary. Oh my God. Moving on, I'm gonna take some concealer and it's only gonna go on one eye because only one eye is going to be shown. So pick whichever one you want. And then we'll start with the eye makeup. So I'm going to start using a red matte shade and this is going to go all the way up to the brow bone. So all the way up there and really swirling it over and then adding it all over the eye and winging it out so you have like a big, bright red eye. And then I'm going to take a Dose of Colors Block Party Shadow. This is in Sizzle and I love it. And I'm going to use my fingers to apply it all over to really deepen that look right in the center of the eye. And then using some liquid eyeliner. I probably shouldn't have done my base before the liquid eyeliner, but you know, you live and you learn. Uh, next took a little bit of a peach shade to blend out the top a little bit even more and diffuse it more because that, it just it was too stark of a contrast. And then I did have to clean up everything. So I used a makeup wipe to clean it up, but you know, that's fine, it's life. I added some Ardell Wispies. These were two of them stacked together because I thought that gave a cooler look. And then I used a pressed shadow in the yellow color and I applied that all over the eye because this one was gonna be a gold eye. Make sure when you're using yellow that you apply like a lot as a base because it's hard to show up. But yeah, just make sure you apply it and make your, you make your wing shape. And then we're gonna use this beautiful gold color and I'm going to apply that over the top. So similar to how I did with the red, I'm going to mimic that with the gold. And make sure you run it at the bottom of your eyes too so it connects and then go ahead with your winged liner. And good luck because winged liner always needs a 
Good luck. And then applying some mascara, some falsies, and that makes the eyes complete. Next, we're going to start the paint. So we're gonna start with mapping out the face. And when I say I held my breath during this part of creating the division on my face, I held my breath creating the division on my face. Probably shouldn't, but it makes me so, so nervous. And I always just have to be like, <gasps> going down the line. So after the division is created, look at that. Look, oh, you have to be so careful. I was so proud that that all happened in one go. Then you're going to start mapping out the rest of the portion. So I just took inspiration from the pictures and I started to draw off, yeah, draw, draw out the shapes as I saw on the pictures. And then I actually labeled where I wanted the color. So B for black, red for red, and then the ones that I left blank were skin toned color. All right, and after you're fabulously done, we're going to start filling in this paint. So I started with the hardest one, which was the musical notes, and I started creating the lines for the notes and then actually started drawing the notes in. Again, probably held my breath a lot here because it's a little bit scary. Drew the little ampersand, and then I started to do the easier parts, which was painting the rest of the face. So this was pretty easy, just painting the black part. Be careful when you're going around the eye because you wanna create like an eye shape and you just wanna be careful there. But other than that, the rest, you're just painting black or red, so it's not too bad. And finally, it's time for the finishing touches. So we're gonna start out with the lips. I took that uh, really deep purple color that looks kind of almost black and put that on one side. And then for the other side, I took a red color and painted it red on the other side. Nothing too hard, just simply what you had to do. And then this was the hard part. This was putting on the 3D stuff. So I used, so note, I think most people use Prosade, but I used lash glue because that's what I had. And I applied that before applying these 3D parts all over the face, but be really careful because these things, because they're made out of scar wax, are hard to deal with. So be very careful, take your time applying this and use a safer option. I think spirit gum is the one that people use more often. And then I'm going to clean everything up because that highlighter got a little all over the place. So first I'm going to make sure that the pieces have the highlights touched up. Then I'm gonna go back and paint anywhere that the highlight fell on. So adding the black paint, adding the red paint, or using um, some a foundation and covering up the parts where it fell over. And then adding the color and I'm done. That was it. And then that was the completed look. Now this was definitely my most ambitious look to date on such short notice with having to create so many handmade pieces. I don't know if I would do it exactly the same if I was to recreate it in the future. If I had to redo this in the future, I would definitely, definitely be spending a little bit more time creating 3D hand pieces, using more proper items such as spirit gum instead of eyelash glue. And then I would also take the time to maybe order some fabric and create something or maybe just order a entire jester's hat but i thought on the last minute this was my most uh, ambitious look can i get it done i think it was okay it wasn't too bad there are two more videos left for halloween that's three, sorry. There's two more videos left for Halloween week and they're not going to be looks, they're going to be something else, but you will see them 
hopefully tomorrow and on Halloween day. Until then, if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye. Day five of Hall <laughs> Okay, redo how I created the pop. I bought some floral wild, floral virus. <laughs>